Welcome to Sense Talk. My name is Brandon and I'm your host. Before we get started, please follow us on Twitter at SenseTalk underscore for live time updates of all your Sanders games and of course breaking news as well. Please check out SeatGiant.ca. Use the code SenseTalk on Sanders tickets and you will get a discount and it helps me out. You get to go to a Sense game and it's a great service. So please check out SeatGiant.ca and use the code SenseTalk. Tonight's game was against the Los Angeles Kings. The Kings starting netminder was Darcy Kemper because Jonathan Quick started last night against the Leafs. Uh, the last game the Kings played was against the Leafs and they ended up losing 3-2 in regulation. Uh, the last game the Sens played was in fact against the Leafs on Saturday uh, where they defeated them 6-3. Anderson started that game. Condon will start this game. as we Let's get to the first period. Where 24 seconds in, a win by Kempe in the faceoff circle finds Martinez from the point he slaps it past Condon. The third shot of the game, it's one nothing Kings early on. But six minutes later, Dion Phaneuf, a knuckle puck goal, like a knuckle ball, in, like a pitcher, like in the World Series that's happening right now. 1-1 tie, Phaneuf second of the season, assisted by Mike Hoffman and Jean-Gabriel Pajot. The Sanders tie it on their second shot of the game. Going to the second period now, the Sanders getting plenty of chances. Tom Pyatt, who's having himself a hell of a game, he played a spectacular game today. He jams the net, and Nate Thompson buries his second goal in two games. Shorthanded, the first time the Sanders score a shorthanded goal this year. Thompson's second goal in as many games, 2-1 Ottawa. This was in the third, but with 145 left. Mike Condon comes out of his net to play the puck, and you know Sanders' goaltenders are not good at playing the puck. Craig Anderson, plenty of bad experiences of playing the puck like in the playoffs last year where they played the Bruins at turnover and that was we ended up winning that game thanks to Funuf in overtime but another turnover Condon same thing turns it over tries to recover five hole goal 2-2 tie 145 left the Sens controlled the third period Condon made I'm not blaming the game going overtime on Condon I'm blaming that second goal on Condon, um, which did, in fact, end up sending the game to overtime. Um, he played spectacular tonight, Condon, but, you know, you don't. there's no need for you to make the play. The defender was there. He was going to be able to chip it up, and there was a guy on the boards. The start a player, just dump it out to play Guy Boucher's 1-3-1 um, defense, the, the, the system. But um, I don't know why he went out of his net. It was very unnecessary. Um, Cost sends the win in regulation. But hopefully they could get it in overtime. And thankfully, Eric Carlson was starting in overtime with Johnny Oduya and Derek Broussard. A little weird uh, putting Oduya instead of Hoffman or something. But, you know, they did what they did. Uh, Carlson played a lot in the, in the overtime period. Um, the Sanders got a couple of nice chances. Turner's almost buried one. Eight seconds ago, they put Phaneuf for the one time or couldn't set him up. With a couple seconds ago, uh, I think it was Dustin Brown had a chance and just went wide at the last second. It was We went to the shootout where the first shooter for the Kings was Michael Camilleri. Uh, he was in and he scored a nice little goal there. Tur is trying to come in and Darcy Kemper stop five hole. Uh, Anze Kopitar just stopped by Conan as he's going back into the net. He keeps the puck out with his pad just just keeping out enough. Uh, Mark Stone's coming in and he goes five hole right past the hash marks for some reason he shot it early. Easy save for Kemper, and for the win was Andre and Kempe, and he buried it as the Kings come back to win it 3-2 in the shootout. Another point lost for the Senators. That's three points this season that the Senators could have had, but they've lost it all thanks to third period collapses. Now, this is an early story for the Senators. Um, I know the Senators did have control of the third period and should have won in regulation. I'm not blaming it on Mike Conant for us losing. Uh, the two shootout goals were very hard. And he played spectacular in regulation, minus that stupid turnover. But this is a learning experience because there was no need for Mike Condon to play that puck at all. There was players around to pick it up and start a play or dump it out. Very much stupid, stupid mini mistake cost Sanders extra point. They still got a point um, early in the season still. My, um, Guy Boucher, one of the best coaches in the world. Uh, you could ask a lot of analysts. You you can say, you could debate that in the comments, whatever, but I really do think he was chased to turn this team around for the better and put them as a cup contender. But, you know, Guy Boucher will fix his team and fix his team from third period collapses. I would consider this a third period collapse. It was more of a stupid mistake with a minute 45 to go. Most likely what would have happened is the Sens would have got the puck and thrown it out, and then the Kings would have came back, Connor would have stopped it, and then they would have emptied their net. 
that's probably what would happen. So it wasn't really a mis uh, a collapse. It was more of a, a little mistake. Um, still, that is three third period collapses at home that they've lost. Um, now there's a tough opponent on Thursday against the Flyers. Want to get that regulation win? Habs won tonight. They scored four goals or five goals, I think. And they're only 10 points behind us now, which sounds like a lot. Still early in the season. You want to rack as many regulation win points as possible. But speaking of points and stats, let's get to the shots on goal. 15-8 after the first for the Kings. 14-12 uh, after the first. Second for the Kings. 12-9 third for the Kings. 2-2 tie in overtime. 43-31 final for the Kings. Kings could have had many more shots if it wasn't for a bunch of empty net chances. Nick Shore, I believe his name is, had a couple of wide open nets you couldn't bury. Camilleri had a chance. So Sanders did get lucky to even get the point in some way. But, you know, in hockey there's bounces that come your way. And if they come your way, um, you, you take advantage of it, which they did. But it costed them the extra point by making that stupid mistake. You know, you win some, you lose some. And obviously, um, the amount of empty net chances the Kings had that they didn't score helped the Sanders get the point. Possibly even, could have been, even been two in regulation. But in a way, the, the Kings, once again, outplayed. The Sens were outplayed again. And the Sens should just be happy they got the point. Now, don't be satisfied you just got the point. Um, you got to work on it. The point is good. Two points, they had it in the bag in a way, but in a way, the Sens shouldn't even be in that position to get that two points in regulation because they were heavily outplayed. They got some good spurts of moments, but they were heavily outplayed, and the Kings had lots of empty net chances that they couldn't bury. So lots of luck on the center side, and this is a costly mistake at the end, cost them the extra point and the regulation win. Uh, team stats, face-offs, 35 wins for the Sanders, 56.5%. Uh, for the Kings, 27 wins, 43.5%. Uh, power plays, Ottawa went 0 for 1, and the Kings went 0 for 2. Ottawa scored a shorthanded goal tonight, thanks to Nate Thompson. The hits were 26 24 in favor of the Kings, and shots 43 31. Third star of the game, and the Sensog YouTube star of the night, Tom Pyatt. One assist, a plus two rating, 16 43 on the ice. He was, no doubt, the most noticeable player on the ice tonight. Uh, came out of nowhere, uh, playing so well. Um, just couldn't finish his chances offensively, but he played pretty well. Hoffman had a good game, and Condon obviously had a good game as well. But Tom Payet really, really impressed tonight. Second star, Adrian Kempe, a goal, an assist, a plus one rating, 15-15 on the ice, and the shootout winner. The first, well, and Michael Camilleri, the shootout winner uh, for the Kings. The attendance for tonight's game was four, just over 14,000, which is not good. But I did take a look at the upcoming, that's 3,000 short of a sellout, but I did take a look at the upcoming games up until December, and most, I would say 95% of those games are going to be sold out, it looks like. You could take a look at the Sens tickets, um, and they'll show like Ticketmaster, you'll see the blue dots mean sold, seats that are not sold. Majority, it's going to be uh, 16, at least 16,000 for the next bunch of games, maybe after the Flyers game, but after the Flyers game, most of the games are up to 16,000 already. Uh, possibly even 17,000 if I didn't check well enough. Um, I tweeted that at SenseTalk underscore if you want to see the pictures there. But the tenants will improve, which is rare, weird because they're not playing the top teams. Like, they're playing Coyotes. That game's going to be sold out. But uh, It's a little strange, but it is what it is. But the Sanders are playing the Flyers Thursday. Um, need, not saying they need to, but it'd be very nice after a brutal game like this where they should have got the win. Uh, they had it in the bag. Um, it would be nice to get a win there against f the Philadelphia Flyers at home. Get those points early on. The Sanders have only lost one in regulation. The record is now only 4-1-4, four, four, I believe. They're now third in the Atlantic. And I will tell you right now how far back the Canadians are. The, the Canadians, Bruins as well, but the Canadians are still a ways to go as they are... Uh, sorry. They are... Um, eight points behind the Sanders, and that's four games in regulation wins for them uh, without overtime losses. So, Sanders, if they can keep on getting the points up, the Canadians have a long hill to climb, but still, it's still early on. But the Sanders do need to rake up the points. So, thank you all for watching. Please follow us on Twitter at Sensstock underscore fly to updates of the games and, of course, breaking news. Please like us on Facebook at Sensstock. Add a service circles on Google Plus Sense Talk. Click the big red button down there, subscribe to us. Like this video, share this video wherever you share cool stuff. Please check out our website, sensetalkcenter.com. We update it every single day. 
Of course, check out cjoin.ca. Use the code SENSTOCK to get discounts on all your Sanders tickets. Click right here for the season playlist, right here for our most recent upload, and right here to subscribe to us, and make sure to put the notification bell on. Thank you all for watching. The Sens lose 3-2 in the shootout. A kind of a crushing loss, but hopefully on Thursday they will rebound. So I'll see you Thursday. Go Sens go.